Welcome to God Coco Gamers, I'm Daryl Benson. I'm here to talk to you guys about, really quickly, about what Miyamoto has said today uh, regarding Nintendo and their games and their audience. Now, I got Mario Kart 8 behind me, which is a fantastic game, and you should go pick it up. Uh, but, you know, what's really great about this game is that it really is just a down-to-basics first-party Nintendo game from like the past you know it's what's great about playing games like Mario Kart is that it's not we fit it's not we bowling it's not anything like that it's not, it's not we play you all that shit okay what's what's great is that it's an actual game it's not the mini game compilation it's not some stupid health and fitness bullcrap it's a game that uses joysticks and buttons that's what I'm talking about now Miyamoto referenced the original Wii and referenced casuals in particular today in which he stated that he was no longer concentrating on the casual market. Yes! 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 It's about fucking time, you stupid morons! Oh, we've only been telling you to do this for how long now? Years? Seven? Eight years? Ah, at least they're doing it, but it, it's a typical slow-to-the-draw Nintendo. They do so many things right, but they always have a way to fuck it up. Be that as it may, I'm really happy here. And like our last video went ahead and detailed with the uh, Blue Falcon uh, vehicle coming to Mario Kart, they're alluding to franchises that we have been begging for now for a long time. And, um... I would. I think this is. I think his statement in particular is the sign that we're going to be getting the games that we've been asking for, particularly games like F Zero, uh, and I think that's also the reason why we're getting Star Fox for the Wii U. Uh, I think it's a fantastic bit of news. I love that he's finally giving up on them. He admitted that they've gone to the smartphone market. He admitted to the fact that they're fickle. And he doesn't want them because they're not dedicated to his brand. And he basically kind of insulted them. He's like, you know, the people who just want to have companies entertain them and everything's about them. Well, they don't come to, they don't take it one step further. They don't, they don't, they don't see, they don't, they're not dedicated. They're blah, blah, blah. So screw them, basically. He didn't say it in those words, but basically that's what he was saying. It's like, you know, if you're not going to be here every single generation, I don't want you buying my crap. And he almost seemed like he was happy in a way that they went to the smartphone market because now he doesn't have to worry about that crap anymore. And now he can focus on making real games like Legend of Zelda and Metroid. Yeah, that's a clue. We should, we need one of those. F-Zero, Wave Race, Star Fox, shit. All the real Nintendo games that we want, it's starting to happen. We got Mario Kart and Smash and we have an announcement for Star Fox. But they really need to hit a home run with this. They need to go ahead and start announcing some new hardcore Nintendo first party titles. Um, and they need to do it quickly. But until then, I have to say I'm really proud to be a Wii U owner after he said that statement. Um, it's, a blo it's about bloody time. And, um, you know, the Wii U is a great console. I, this is my third one because uh, in the beginning... Uh, frankly, it was boring. Uh, there wasn't a lot of support for it. And then I got suckered into buying that Wind Waker pack, but then there really weren't any other games around that time, so I sold it soon after that. But now I have a third one, and it'll be my final one. I love this system. It's not going anywhere. Uh, and you know what? I hope that Miyamoto's statement today proves that I'm right in my decision in buying the system again, and that this is going to be the system to beat. I know it's in second place. I know the PlayStation 4 is dominating, but I will say this. I have owned or own every single next-gen console, PS4, Xbox One, and Wii U. And I'm not talking about graphically here. I'm talking about entertainment. Right now, the Wii U is my favorite. Uh, and it's simply because the Wii U uh, has the type of games I want to play and for that matter, games coming out that I want to play, 
And frankly, if it wasn't for Destiny, I don't know how, and, and for using this as my cable box, I don't know how, how, how often I would use an Xbox One. And uh, considering the PlayStation 4 wasn't my cable box, I hardly use that at all. <laughs> Uh, in fact, the only game, and my mic, our other co-host, can go ahead and attest to this, um, the only other game I played on the PS4, really, to any extent, was Warframe. It's the only thing that really gripped me and gripped my attention, but after a while, I mean, you kind of see everything, you kind of do everything, and it wasn't worth my time anymore. Uh, but, you know, I can't say that about Nintendo right now, and I really do wish them the best of luck, and, you know, frankly, uh, this is the right path. Finally, you're on the right path, Nintendo. Thank you for listening to us. It's about bloody time. Now hire back that guy who's in charge of all the indie games. We need him. He has a good brain in his brain in his uh, in his head. He, he's pretty smart. And uh, the fact that he almost got us Grim Fandango. Oh my God! How do we miss that? How do we miss that opportunity, Nintendo? It's okay. Anyway, really hope you come out with an F Zero game. I really hope you, the audience have been enjoying these bite-sized episodes. We've been working very hard, as you can see from my bloodshot eye. Uh, been kind of suffering with a little bit of a sleep uh, deprivation here. <laughs> Can't seem to get enough sleep at night, and my eye's twitching now. That's always fantastic. Uh, but no, seriously, we've been working really hard. We hope you enjoy these. We know that we have a bunch of watchers, uh, but right now we only have two subscribers. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. It helps us more than you know. Uh, and at the very least, it gives us some motivation to keep on going. And we really hope to do this for a very long time. Until then, I'm Daryl Benson with another Bite Size episode. See you next time.